How you doing guys? Uh, too many toys here with my uh, 72 um, Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40 nicknamed Sparkle Wrench. Um, I'm back here. Uh, I actually went to the steel yard on Friday and got myself um, a lot of metal, pretty much 90% of the sheet metal to finish up the floors and whatnot. So I'm actually just going to give you guys a little brief thing what I'm going to try to get accomplished today. Um, here is my rocker panel patch. Right here. You see it's, um, I think it's like 34. I think I did a little extra. Um, I got to lop off a little here because I gave myself a little extra here so I can weld it. I'm going to try to butt weld it to this. Um, this is actually a support that I'm going to have to make, um, which are, I made one on, um, last week, but I wasn't too happy with it. I'm going to try to redo it here. I'm having problems with getting the, um, it actually has like a little bit of a, a bend here, like a radius here, because it sits underneath two sections of the floor pan to the to the um, inner part of the rocker or the outer part, so it's got to have like a little bit of a flange in there, so it sits up flush and whatnot. So I'll have to make up some kind of um, die so I can bend a get a little bit of a bender, better bend on here, but um, shouldn't be too bad. But anyway, this is the uh, the piece that I got, and it's um. 16 gauge steel. I just had a three quarter inch lip bent here, and then another quarter inch lip bent here. And you can see what happens is it fits on here. If I can get it to work here. So that's it. So I'm gonna obviously have to cut a little bit, and uh, probably can't see it in the picks, but. I put a, see a little mark there, a little shiny mark there. One here, and then there's another one back there. So this piece here is going to have to get cut down with my plasma cutter. This piece here, I'm going to have to measure how much I have here and figure out how much I got to cut off of this piece so that it sits. I can butt weld it right up against it and just tack it all along, grind it, and it should look pretty good as new. Won't need much. Um, Bondo and whatnot to to get it to look good. Um, so I said this is a little tip. You guys are on a budget like me, and uh, you don't feel like buying the whole uh, rocker sack section from the uh, the vendors. Um, this cost me I think it was like twenty three dollars a side. I got both sides, and then this pan here. This is actually the inner floor with quarter inch lip here that welds to the inside of here. It fits up against that and welds. So that was, I think, this side because I got nine inches because I got four panels. Um, pretty fucked. So I'm gonna cut out. This is from taking out them damn spot welds for the uh, the toolbox. I think was dug in like a tick on a hog here. So I had to actually um, drill out all the uh, you know pretty aggressively. So using my uh, air hammer and I just twisted the shit out of the metal. It's this metal's you know is borderline. Uh, uh, needs to be replaced anyway. You know, I'm sure if if I got done everything and, and um, you know cut just the little sections that obviously need to be cut, I guarantee when I did um, media blast and all see all those little pits here. This is probably just from sitting outside with the top off and you know just it just pit it's pit it real bad. I guarantee you would have blow through, which then I'd have to either go back and weld all these fucking pinholes shut or uh, you know cut it out and replace it. So I'm just gonna cut it out. And use this. Um, this is like nine inch here by uh, three quarters so give me more than enough that I'm going to need um, to uh, to weld to it so like I said so that piece gets welded to the inside of this piece so you got to line everything up you got them three supports that are going to go in here um, weld all this up here and then uh, as you can see I have this piece here that I got bent up same thing three quarter I'm doing all three quarter inch bends because uh, the steel place I go to with 16 gauge they can only put a three quarter inch bend on it um, I think the uh, factory might be a little bit smaller but um, you know, I'm not, I said this is not a factory restoration. This is just, uh, you know, me trying to get a, a cruiser looking good and definitely going to be driving and <laughs> you know not, not going to be falling apart. It won't be you, you won't be able to see all these little ribs and whatnot, but it will be solid and probably stronger than uh, the OEM was. So, but um, yeah, so this is just uh, you know what I'm doing here to get everything uh, lined up. That's that piece, that section back there. Um, I think I showed you that I have the. Uh, um, the gas tank uh, hump there 
up front from another uh, truck from a member on the I hate mud so he shipped it from California so it's it's uh, really clean so yeah so I'm gonna cut that piece out there <clears throat> get that all welded up and then um I actually got the uh, the support section here because it's like a maze with all this shit in here all these parts I gotta it's too cold to clean up because normally I take everything outside and throw out what I don't need and whatnot but it is like 20 degrees outside so it won't be done today probably not until um, March <laughs> but uh yeah, here's the uh, gas tank that I'll be using. So here's the other pieces that I got here. This was the uh, this is the rear channel, the rear channel for the uh, support for the um, front part of the rear floor pan. So it's I got it. Here it is. Here I got them to make it bend that up. So it's not spot on with the uh, the bend. I think he's a couple degrees off, but I, I lined it up onto the uh, section here and it, it fit fine. So. Might have to just pinch it together a little more, but don't have to worry about that. Um, everything else, this is the rear section, which is going to go over top of the. Um, this will go over top of the rear sill that I made. So I put a little extra here. I'll cut that off with my plaza cut, my plaza cutter, and I'm probably going to butt weld it to the rear floor pan, which is sitting in the back corner there. That way, you won't have to worry about, you know, if you overlap and spot weld it that's that's the problem that's what happens it starts to to rust you know I'm trying to do everything a little bit better um, and sort of um, um, fix the design flaws from uh, from when they made these from the factory so you won't have this shit coming back I I know it will actually but uh, you know something you can help out a little bit anyway <laughs> so he said so I got uh, all these pieces done um, there's the other rocker and this one is the floor, the other piece for the floor pan. So the only rear sections I need um, are, and they're not even on the vehicle, but I need to make these sections here, which are I forget like 14 inches long or something. They basically go over the um, the rear lip or the uh, the channel here, the four inch channel that I bought the four inch uh, the beam for here, so main support beam. So I'll have to make them or go back down there and get it made. So yeah, because I didn't really know the measurement. I had it um, written down somewhere, but I didn't bring it down to the, to the steel place, so I didn't just want to uh, wing it, and obviously I'm not fit. So, because I I think it goes down, and if I believe right, it goes it has another bend like that, and that's where the three things meet. So your lower, um, on your upper wheel well comes down here, and then it's got a thing that it welds, you know, um, uh, little piece you know it's a bend here that, that welds to that section of the floor pane as well as hmm what else does meets up here oh, now there's three sections that meet uh i guess maybe the upper or the lower floor pane lower uh well anyway i'm confusing the shit out of myself but um you catch my drift here so it's, it's a it's a triple lap seam and it's a a design flaw that's that's the problem with the 84 88 toyota beds they always did that and they always rot it all like ever seen any 488 bed so imagine this is the bed they always rot it right along here which is the spot wells because you had three sections meeting together and then the dirt and shit would just get kicked up there on like a trough you know it's almost like a ledge and all the dirt gets in and it just starts rotting the shit out so they're they always rot it along that scene back there it was like uh up there with death and taxes uh 84 88 toyota pickup beds rot um so and it was a pain in the ass so that's you know i'm really into them trucks too as well but um that's just the design fault the Toyota had with the uh, that triple lap scene. Um, but yeah, so this is it, man. I uh, got a lot of um, a lot of screwing around to do on the day. I'll be you know cutting, taking out, cutting, taking out. But uh, it's better to uh, cut little and uh, go back again than cut a lot and then have the oops. I don't have enough. So uh, I'll hope to have some uh, another vid by the end of today. Show you guys uh, where I'm at. So uh, I'll be back. Take care.